Why was Yvette so controversial? Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Murray Grace Spills the Tea. Today we are talking about how Yvette was one of the most controversial dolls American Girl has ever released. But before we get started, make sure to hit subscribe to make sure you never miss a video on the latest American Girl news, including leaks and controversies. On a surface level, this doll was very well received. She was everyone's dream doll when she was released and unarguably was the most popular doll from the first wave of World by Us dolls. But she wasn't without controversy. Now, before we move on, this was a requested video, and this might not be your cup of tea, which is fine, but it was requested by several people. It also makes it a lot easier to direct someone to a YouTube video rather than typing out the entire story in a comment section. So if this topic isn't for you, that is okay, and I will see you in another video. I'm not necessarily agreeing with the controversy, but I do think it has some valid criticisms. And as this is a news gossip channel, I feel like this topic would be interesting for some of my viewers. I was also inspired to make this video because I was recently interviewed for someone's university project. I can't remember the exact details, but I remember it being similar to doing a thesis paper or, or a end of the year project, which requires a lot of research. And when I was asked to be interviewed, I was very excited. The interview was so much fun and I love discussing American Girl in detail for research purposes. However, one question really stumped me. It was something along the lines of how do you feel about American Girl taking steps towards diversity? And to be honest with you, it was a very difficult question to answer. My response was something along the lines of diversity is super important because dolls represent society and ourselves. So it's very important that everyone feels represented because dolls attempt to reflect reality and not including dolls of different ethnicities and cultures would be disingenuous. But I also brought up how there has been several controversies surrounding American Girl from both parents with issues such as the body image book, but there's also criticism from collectors because they claim that American Girl has poor attempts at diversity or minimal attempts to appease a growing number of people who are demanding more representation. In fact, as I learned in business school, there is an increased demand for corporations to have corporate responsibility, and studies show that LGBTQ individuals are way more likely to purchase from a brand if they use LGBTQ people in their advertising, not just from a one-time purchase, but for a lifetime. According to Forbes, if a company uses LGBTQ plus inclusive advertising, they can expect a 40% increase in sales. I mean, look at the stereotype of lesbians driving Subarus after a very successful and ad campaign in the 90s. Seriously, look this up, because my parents didn't believe me when I told them about lesbians and Subarus. Anyways, the question is, did American Girl create the World by Us line to appease this cultural shift we are experiencing amongst consumers, or is it a true attempt at creating more diversity in the line? American Girl has almost always been criticized for preferring blonde dolls, especially over other dolls. Even though the percentage of the population in the United States having blonde hair is much lower than the dolls that are represented in the American Girl line, they still have made an insane amount of Girl of the Year dolls with blonde hair. In fact, 8 of the dolls, including the best friend Gwen, out of the 23 Girl of the Year dolls were blonde, meaning 35% of the Girl of the Years were blonde, while the actual US population has about 2% of blonde hair. So it is undoubtable that American Girl releases way more blonde dolls than any other hair color. Now, whenever I post this, people are quick to say because blonde dolls sell more. And my question has always been, is this true or a self-fulfilling prophecy? Is American Girl scared that blonde dolls are the only dolls that will sell, so they only produce blonde dolls? And of course, since there is mostly blonde dolls, they sell more proportionally. Or is this purely a cultural phenomenon? I'm sure someone has analyzed this topic in depth, but I'm too scared of finding out the answer because an obsession with blonde hair and blue eyes over all else is a slippery slope into some wacky ideas, if you catch my drift history buffs. Not saying that if you're blonde that there is something wrong with you. Obviously not, because when I say that we should all feel represented, we should all feel represented including people who make up a small percentage of the US population, like Muslim Americans for example. But you have to admit the percentages are off, and this leads to the controversy surrounding Yvette, a blonde doll of color. But first, what was the intention of the World by Us line? 
There is two times that American Girl has been called out for preferring blonde dolls over other dolls of color that they have responded to. The first time was in 2017 with Gabriella McBride and Tenny Grant. Tenny Grant, who was released as a contemporary character in 2017, was supposed to be the girl of the year for 2017. And it would have been a huge deal because she was released alongside Logan, American Girl's first boy doll. However, when images of her leaked, fans saw she was a blonde doll and were not impressed because in the 16 years, they had never released a black girl of the year. Before then, there was Marisol, a Latina doll, Jess, an Asian doll, and Kanadi, a native Hawaiian doll, but the ratios were still off when it came to white dolls versus dolls of color. In response to this, AG rushed to create Gabriella and stole her likeness from a real life person. You can watch all the times American Girl copied a real life person in a video I made before. Link will be in the description. And sometimes these copying led to lawsuits. So that's a very interesting video if you wanna go check it out after this one. And they also recycled Gabriella's collection from other dolls like McKenna's loft bed. Then, after this sloppy release, a few months later they released Tenny, who had a much more developed collection and two dolls, Logan and Tenny, retired at the end of the year, suggesting that she was supposed to be the girl of the year, but American Girl quickly rebranded to stop major backlash. Why is this relevant to the World by Us line? Because when Kira was leaked for the girl of the year for 2021, a, another blonde doll with green eyes, there was a similar, if not more backlash than Tenny. So they made an announcement that they would be releasing the World by Us dolls in the fall. Now, did they slap this together after Kira was released or was it in the works before? We have no idea because this usually takes two years for dolls to be developed from start to finish. But Mattel rushed products before, especially when it comes to brands like Barbie, so I could see them rushing a line with American Girl. World by Us was created in response to global movements such as the Black Lives Matter movement, with three dolls that were released were Makena, a black doll with a passion for fashion, Maritza, a Latina doll who loves soccer and has to deal with her friends being deported, and Yvette, a half black, half white doll who cares for the environment. All these topics are super important and no one is denying they are super relevant to society today and i don't think people were necessarily upset about these dolls if these images hadn't surfaced this is yvette or at least original yvette as you can see she has dark brown hair and brown eyes very different from the dark blonde gray eyed doll that we know today as yvette People were quick to point out that Yvette's looks were changed so American Girl could release a blonde doll in the World by Us line, which we know, as mentioned before, blonde dolls are preferred by American Girl for unknown reasons, be it sales or fear that they won't sell. And it's something that we'll probably never know the answer to. And it was true that American Girl sold the most from the World by Us line and exploded in popularity on AGIG, which is what fans call American Girl Instagram which you should totally follow me by the way, because I post photos of my dolls as well as leaks and news. So make sure to follow me at Just Dream Studios for more. But people were quick to point out how strange it was that a blonde doll in a line about people of color was getting all the attention. Was this proving American Girl is correct that blonde dolls are sell more? Now, don't get me wrong. I own Yvette and I love her. I bought her the same time I bought Claudia and McKenna is another doll I would love to add in my collection. I think Yvette is unique because of her hair and I wish more dolls had this hair and this wig, but in different colors. Just think about how cute a black wig or a dark brown wig would be with this texture. It would be so, so cute. But I can't help but question American Girl's intentions after seeing the original images of Yvette. And usually these images aren't created in the early stages of development, meaning there could be a prototype doll of a dark haired Yvette out there. Did they test it on consumers like children and adults and ultimately they didn't like it? Did the original creators of the World by Us line want Yvette to look like this but a higher up scrapped it? Totally possible. If you've ever had a job, you will know this happens. You work hard on something only for your boss to come along, change everything and take all the credit. It sucks, but it's just what comes with working in a job. My solution for this would be if they were release both dolls. Use different names and characters, of course, but if we had two dolls that were half black and half white, or possibly a different kind of mixed race, and they both look like both versions of Yvette, 
I think people will be less disappointed because it furthers diversity more because more people see themselves represented. I know for a fact that there is people that look like either blonde Yvette or dark haired Yvette and both people deserve to be represented and one shouldn't be praised more than the other. I think both versions of Yvette are beautiful, but I wish American Girl released them both so we can have a wider range of representation. I remember when she was first released, people were telling others to boycott Yvette, which I definitely didn't agree with. I mean, the part of telling other people what to do, then shaming them when they don't do as you do. I mean, if you don't want to purchase her, that is your choice. But not buying Yvette solely because you want to stick it to American Girl is ineffective because it's teaching them that any doll of color isn't worth selling. If you really want to support the line, buy the dolls you are drawn to, including Makena or Maritza, because this shows people want dolls of color. I hope this video makes sense. I know the topic is a little dated, but it has come up a few times, and it just makes more sense to direct people to a YouTube video than explain it over text in an Instagram comment section. Remember, this was a requested video, and if this is not your thing, don't worry about it. I'll see you in another video. But people are asking me to talk about it, so here I am. Before we go, make sure to check out my Murray Grace Spills the Tea playlist, where I talk about all the news and controversies surrounding American Girl. Follow my Instagram, because I post news and leaks over there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>